Lasky. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <clears throat> of course. Yeah, you're my most important client. Uh, me and my team, were, we were just brainstorming solutions uh, to your problem right now. Could you tell me what the problem was again? No, I mean, I, of course, I know what it is. I just want to hear you say it because, I, you know, because I'm a listener. Right, so the, uh, the city's going to build that pedestrian footbridge. It's going to uh, drive customers over to your competition. Right, yeah. And you want me to kill the footbridge with negative publicity, right? Killing is what we do. <laughs> no, no, no. We kill because we care. My favorite Boston Globe columnist, Mr. Contrarian. Ha <laughs> Pitch a story? Oh, au contraire. No, I'm just calling in advance to apologize for the story I'm not giving you. Yeah, and even though it would have said a bunch of uh, elitist architects and some of those self-important bastards down at City Hall, but I don't think you need that kind of heat right now. I, I just wanted to call and tell you before you... Uh, you know, heard it from the Herald. Joe Shaka, the greatest editor of the great Boston Herald. Hey, of course I have a point. All right, picture this. The city's wasting taxpayer dollars on a nightmare bridge that is going to be a gateway for punks and thugs to come over and terrorize my client, a small businessman just trying to live the American dream. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, wait, Joe, that, uh, I think is the boring broadsheet on the other line there. I'll call you back. <laughs> Why, Brian McGrory, my favorite columnist. Reginald Lasky here. <laughs> yes, your humble ally and standing up for the common man. <laughs> oh, I'll get to it. All right, you know this new footbridge they're putting up? Well, uh, I don't have to tell you that it clashes with all the other buildings surrounding it that are very historic and very old and very wonderful. Yes, and not to mention, the architect is from Cleveland. Oh, the humanity. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I've got the Boston Herald online, too. I'm going to have to call you back. Joe Shaka, Mr. Herald. So sorry. All right. You know who else is going to love this bridge? The Democrats. Why? Because uh, they can smuggle illegal aliens from one side of the city to the other. Yeah. Sure, Obama's aunt can use it. Joan Fanaki, my favorite columnist. Let me pose this question to you. Do we really need another bridge designed by a man when there are so many unemployed female architects out there? Hold, please. Hello, voicemail of Howie Carr? Yeah. I ain't leaving my name, but I got a hot tip for you. Friggin' Democratic hacks want to build a fancy footbridge to help some grocery guy who's got 35 cousins working for the city. Yeah, yeah, my sister's friend has a cousin Richie whose brother Leo saw the payroll. Uh, hey, something's happening here. I, I, I gotta go, I gotta go. Hi, Joan. Thank you for holding so much. I am so sorry. Anyway, what I was just about to say is, did you know that none of these male architects even went to Harvard? I know! Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Another call's coming in, honey. Please just hold on one more second. I love you, I love you, I love you. Track Girls! OMG! Okay, I got the hottest, juicy item. All right. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon were just doing this cross the street safely campaign when the city comes in and they want to screw it all up by putting in some fancy footbridges. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs>
I know! It's totally crazy. They may never come back to Boston again. I'm totally super, super serious. I'm totally, no, I'm totally serious. No, I'm